This is Neville Douglas. Welcome to the second part of monitoring cracks in buildings. Uh, apologies for the sound quality for last week um, or this week, depending on when you listen to it. I'm working on that. Uh, this isn't my usual background. I'm just working from home at the moment. And so <sighs> struggling a little bit with COVID. But anyway, putting that to one side, this week's video is going to be more about looking at these babies, which is a crack monitoring device which goes on the wall I will put the link to the website in the description having said that you need to know what you're doing with these um, <clears throat> and what else is there we were looking at um, that's it we'll look at the installation <laughs> apologies for this my brain's a bit fogged look at the installation and also um, subsequent monitoring as well because I did go back and monitor it a little bit after and um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be another one because there is something called a crack monitoring ruler, which we're going to go into. And then we'll look into the severity of cracks as well. So once you've got a crack, is it good? Is it bad? Is it indifferent? Should you worry about it? Is it going to close? Is it seasonal? All these things are going to be discussed in the next few videos. So we could be here for a while. So at this point, what I will say is run the video. <music> to the intro if you're not sure what a telltale is this is a telltale there you go and that gets fixed to the wall now if the wall isn't in a corner basically then you have that which goes on let me just turn that on its side for you so now that will monitor obviously this side here is fixed to the wall and then this will stay where it is but this unit here once these four pegs are taken out will slide independently so that you can then see the graduation to see if it's moving up or down or sideways. So this is what a telltale does. Having said that, you need to be quite competent with this because when you're looking at something like uh, cracks in the building, you need to understand the pathology of where they've come from. Is it to do with the foundation? Is it temporary movement? Is it heave where you've got a uh, plant next, excuse me, next to the building? Is it, or a tree which is uh, intrusive and which is affecting the foundations? Um, is it to do with the soil type? Uh, there's so many different things in regards to clay, clay soils, yumi soils, sand. Um, <laughs> is there an underground leak which is eroding the soil which is surrounding the foundations? There's, there's so many different things to look at. And also, um, you need one of these as well. Um, it's a crack monitoring uh, ruler. And so interpreting or using this to interpret what you're looking at as well. And then referring to various different um, charts and standards which tell you whether or not you should be concerned about something. So um, don't worry about that yet. If you need advice on that, just give me a call. Uh, my contact details are down there. If you like this video, please subscribe, tell your friends, um, hit the bell icon so you get regular updates. Uh, the next video after this or attached to this is just going to be the installation of the Telltale. And then there's going to be a little update at the end. I think I did a video a few months ago, a few weeks ago actually, where I went back and basically looked at the Telltale to see if there was any movement. Now, last time I checked, um, it was fine. I take a piece of paperwork with me as well. Oh, sorry, I take paperwork with me where I log all of the movements. So that's quite important to do as well with the date, the weather conditions and everything else. So it's not just a matter of sticking one of these on the wall and, and making sure that um, or thinking that everything's going to be okay. It's quite a complex, well, it's a simple piece of kit, but it's the, um, it's the engine behind the, the kits and I'm not saying that I'm smart I'm just saying I've been trained by um, people in the United Kingdom to look into this kind of thing so it's about having the education like everything else it's just having the knowledge behind the stuff that you're sticking on walls okay so um, on to the video <laughs> 